Hi everybody, this is Charlie. Today we are going to talk about pom-pom pets and making pom-poms. We've got uh, several different projects that I'd like to show you how to do. The first is this little guy right here, little teddy bear. Um, actually, he's a little bit bigger a project for a pom-pom pet. This is the typical size of a pom-pom right here. This is a little bunny rabbit and uh, he's kind of my mascot around here. I call him Cutie Bunny. And this is a, uh, an angry bird. It's very popular with the kids around here. And uh, we just love to make these all together. So the first thing that I'm going to show you how to do today is how to make the pom-poms. Okay, the pom-pom makers come in, five, in four different sizes. Actually, there's five. There's actually one that's bigger than this. That's ordered separately. Uh, generally, the kit that you get uh, comes in with the four different sizes. There's uh, the large, medium, small, and extra small. For the pom-pom uh, pets, uh, such as uh, Mr. Bunny here, I use this size for the body, and I use this size for the head. First of all, I am going to make a cute little purple and pink uh, bunny. I think I'm going to use the purple for the uh, body, and I'll use the pink for the uh, head. So we're going to start, and I think I'm going to make show you how to do it on the small one first. They go a little bit faster, and they're a little bit easier to uh, understand how to do it. So let's get started on that. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab your pom-pom maker. You're going to open up the sides, just like that. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to grab your yarn. You're going to uh, you're going to grab the yarn and you're going to wind it around until it crosses, and that secures the, the yarn on there. Now the secret to making a good pom pom is to wind the yarn tight, to wind it evenly all the way across the thing all the way across the pom-pom maker and get as much yarn on there as possible. The more yarn you get on, the fluffier the pom-pom is going to be and the more fun it's going to be when it's done. So I'm just going to go ahead and start doing that. Now I'm pulling tightly on that, getting a lots, lots of pressure on it, and I'm just winding. All right, now we're ending the to be getting ready to be done on this one side. Now, the way that you know that you're done is you can see that we are wound all the way across. We are tight across here. This is filled up all the way across. The yarn is wound fairly tight. And then we're going to go up here like this and we are going to cut that with a pair of scissors. It's a little bit hard to see with this small of a uh, of, of a pom pom maker, but you get the idea. And then what you do is you just close it. What you cut it. Usually, I like to close it first and then cut it. That just secures the yarn in there so it doesn't come undone. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. And again, you can see that that's filled up all the way across. You can see that it's wound tightly and evenly all the way across. So we're going to close that, clip it. We can set that yarn aside. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the yarn all the way down. Now you can use a pair of scissors. I like to use my uh, trusty uh, Husky utility knife. Uh, that works extremely well. You need to have a sharp blade if you're going to use the utility knife. And the utility knife is much easier than the scissors, so please use whatever you feel comfortable with. So we're just going to cut along the center part of that pom-pom maker. Just like that. other side okay now 
one word of caution right here, you do not want to open the pom-pom maker at this point, otherwise you'll just have a big mess of short yard pieces everywhere. So it's important that you keep that tight. We're going to take some yarn, about 9 or 10 inches long, depending on the size of the uh, pom-pom maker that you're using. And you just work that down through there, along that center. And what we're going to do is just tie that pom-pom, all those short sections of yarn with this and bind them all together. Now you want to pull tight enough to where it's, it's tight, but you don't want to pull it so tight that you break the yarn. If you break the yarn, start over and, and uh, just retie it. You don't have to start with making the pom-pom over again unless you open it up. Then I wrap it around, do an overhand knot, Wrap it around again, do an overhand knot. So that's twice around with an overhand knot on each side. And then I just do an overhand knot to finish. Okay, next step is we're going to open the pom pom from both sides. And we're just going to pull those open one side at a time, works the best. You're going to open that up. And we're going to open up the other side just like that. And we're going to open up, pull the pom pom maker apart. And we got a nice little ball with a couple of strings and some stranglers, stragglers that are hanging out. So the next step is we're going to cut, trim the ball up. So we're going to cut those strings off. I don't need those. And then just trim it, it's just like giving it a haircut. So we're just going to go through, go around it. The more time that I take on trimming this, the better the result. I have found that most kids that are about uh, 9 or 10 can handle making these pom-poms without any problem. Sometimes they need some ad adult help with the uh, scissors trimming this up, but other than that they can handle it pretty well and maybe with cutting it around we don't want them handling the sharp knives and cutting themselves. So when you're done you have a nice little round pom-pom and there's the head of our little bunny. So the next step is I'm going to make another one out of the purple with a little bit bigger and we'll have a little bit bigger pom-pom. So that's the end of this episode. We'll talk to you the next time.